now we are going to start the historical struggle or the struggles around the world let us first start with europe when we talk about europe we need to have a specific identity a country called france there is a saying also if france sneezes europe gets cold the concept is if any issue which starts at france initially its effect is being felt all around the europe so if france will sneeze the europe will get cold it's like a nose for the entire europe but once it gets affected everything gets affected so now let us try to understand what is the french revolution or how did the concept of nationalism emerged out in europe so the concept is rise of nationalism in europe this is the first unit of history which we are going to start now the rise of nationalism in europe what is the word of the meaning of the word nation first of all we are trying to understand what is nationalism in europe how did the nationalism got up evolved in europe so let us try to understand what is the meaning of the word nation nation is a group of people living together who share a common land who live together who follow the same language same culture same identity these people are together known as nation so a group of people who share same culture language same culture language place etc can be called as a nation the place may be called as a nation then what is nationalism the feeling of attachedness towards a particular nation or feeling pursued towards that nation is called nationalism so it's a feeling who have a common language common religion common boundaries common things are called as will provoke them to have the feeling of nationalism this can be understood like this a state of belongingness towards a nation or an ethnic group so the belongingness the feeling as i told you earlier the feeling or the belongingness towards a particular nation or being associated with something makes them to get the rise of nationalism if you are not connected with your nation you do not have the feeling of nationalism or patriotism so this is the understanding of the main point what we are going to discuss in europe so in europe europe is itself is a continent in europe we have many countries together so in europe out of many countries how can you understand the facts of europe or like how different different nations have influenced their struggles towards the other nations to come towards the struggles so that something which started in france which spread entirely towards the europe first our attention will be towards france then we shall move on how it got spread out so when we talk about the french issue french is the official language spoken by the people of france so 
before discussing about the French issue, we shall look at the pictures which are given in the page 1. The page 1 pictures will reveal for us the facts. What happened is Frederick Saru. Frederick Saru has made four paintings. in which he expressed the feeling of nation states, republic and social rights, belonging to one group or one nation, Statue of Liberty, so in his paintings he tried to portray the scenes which he dreamed of to be have in Europe. He initially had a dream where he portrayed that all the people of Europe are merging towards the Statue of Liberty where the Statue of Liberty is standing with a torch on the light showing the way to the people on the other hand it's hanging the rights of the individuals so he wants the people to understand that they have future when they have the rights he wants them to understand clearly that there is certain limitation of the existing system he had a huge dream of social and republican governments he had the ideology of socialism there should not be any kind of discrimination there should not be any restricted power houses or there should not be a family which holds the entire power thoroughly. These all things have to be changed. That is the meaning of the words what he have used like social, republic, nation states where he want a new group of nations to turn up where he don't want the kingdoms to be in existence. He want the leaders to be removed off. He want the new systems to be coming in. He want the systematic governance to be happening. So all these words which he has used belong to one nation, the nationalism, the rights, the rights which are holded by the Statue of Liberty according to him. He made the Statue of Liberty to be a female figure and his dream was to have a nation state where the people are the supreme people, where people have the right to govern themselves. These all are the hidden things and he, on his own paintings he also had a, a vision of uh, angels coming and blessing the people who are having this kind of ideas and the ideologies. These are the, some of the pictures which depict for us which were drawn in 1848 by Mr. Frederick Sarajevo in his series of four paintings. Now let us understand what actually happened in the French Revolution. Then we shall move on to the developments of the concepts of nationalism, then the turning of the faces of French Revolution, then we shall move on to the other aspects. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.